Hey, what's up everybody? Too Tall Toby here. And last week I got to sit down and ask some questions to each of our final four runners in the 2023 World Championship of 3D CAD Speed Modeling. Let's see what they had to say. When you're competing in this tournament, on the day of one of your matchups, going head to head against another CAD expert, how do you feel? Stressed, just straight up stressed. I had coffee before my first matchup because I thought the stimulant would help me. It was a horrible mistake. I was so, so nervous. I'm a little better now because I don't, I don't use the coffee before a match, but it's still, it's very stressful going up to it. When that print first shows up, I am just in a different mode from then on forward. I am laser focused, 100% tunnel vision on that part, just constantly flashing back and forth between the print and the part. I am extremely nervous. So I drink about three glasses of water, then go to the bathroom a couple times, then come back. I'm sweating really, really hard, basically shaking in my boots, I'm worried about the next opponent. And then I sit down and everything sort of, I just zone out and I'm live in the competition. Oh man, it's, you know, everybody says it's so true that the nerves are real. It is just, yeah, you just, you, your heart starts pounding. It's it's pressure, like you're on the spot. And, and that's how I feel. And it, it's literally like when I look back and think about it, it's like, man, this is not hard. Like this is easy to model. I know how to do this. But when you're in the match and you're on the clock, like your hands are literally shaking and, and I'm like hitting keystrokes I'm not intending to hit. Like that happens so much. So yeah, the nerves are real. So I try to, I try to slow down, take a few seconds, take a deep breath and, and just try to, try to stay calm, but it's, it's a challenge. Usually it's tired. Um, for most of these matches, I'm either traveling or I'm sleeping in my office just so that I can be awake and just hop right onto my desk and start using SolidWorks right away. So I'm generally pretty tired and waiting for the caffeine to kick in. And by the time I'm halfway through my round, it's generally where the jitter is set in. So tired or jittery. You're going into the final four against three other experts. If it's not you who wins it all, who do you think will be the champion? Victor, 100%. It's gonna be him. He's so clinical. He's so fast. He does not make any mistakes. Always has the right tool at the right time. He is the example of how to be a speed modeler. Uh, my money is on Ivan. Ivan is just such an engineering powerhouse. He's been in the industry for like 30 years-ish. He just knows everything there is to know about CAD and he's insanely fast. So my money's on him. Uh, I'm a little biased. I, I know one of the guys in the final four. Um, I've met him, uh, Victor. I'm a fan of him, so yeah, I'll give it an honest effort, but uh, I, I'd pick Victor for sure. I have to root for Ivan. Um, got to meet Ivan in person, and then just having competed against him last year, my money's on him. As you were going through competing in this tournament, was there anything about the tournament that caught you off guard or surprised you? I didn't expect the stakes to feel so high. I thought it'd be just kind of a cool, casual, fun little thing that a bunch of dorks on the internet do. And going into the first tournament, I, like I said, man, I was really stressed out. It felt very important to me. It, felt, it has felt very important to me all the way through. I am having fun, but <laughs> there's a lot of other emotions going on too. Yeah, so the, like I I'd followed along with some of the previous competitions where, you know, I'm modeling at the same time as the, uh, the people in the competition and I feel like I thought to myself hey you know I'm keeping up I'm working on a Chromebook blah 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 I feel like this is this is great I could do this and then I get to the actual competition and it's just a completely different world like the the nerves and the, the action it all just gets to you and it makes it so much harder to focus and not make mistakes. I'm trying to think uh, you know you you always every tournament every matchup always has unexpected things that come up. You just don't know what to expect, right? And we've seen it so much where you just, you see a, a certain kind of drama that unfolds and that's always exciting. But for myself personally, I I remember thinking at the start of this tournament, especially the first two rounds, thinking that, oh, sometimes these early rounds are a little easier with, uh, with the bigger scope of competitors, but I ran into some really good ones. So that kind of, that didn't catch me off guard, but it maybe surprised me a little bit. But that's maybe a testament to how 
how popular and why the, the tournament has spread. It's gotten really good, right? The, the field of competitors has, has increased and gotten better. So that's one thing I noticed. Maybe not the tournament itself, but just how messy I was in my round against the Will. Definitely felt really clunky. I was always I was surprised both in that match and in the rematch to uh, have come out on top, um, especially with how strong Will has been performing in the Model Monday live streams. Um, I was surprised to come out on top and again surprised at how messy everything was from my end.